what will it take for any of the local football teams, UH, TSU, Rice, HU doesn't really count, but, you know, to have better attendance at their home games? It's, I mean, it's hard just because of the recreational dollar can be split in so many different ways. You know, you have this large metroplex. Um, you have a first place Houston Astros team that just swept uh, the Kansas City Royals. And so now the Astros have their largest lead in the division that they've had all season. They have more wins than any other team since the All-Star break. So now you got, you know, and then all of the hype and expectations coming up for the Texans. So that just deplete, there's only a, cert, a set number of recreational dollars. And now there are extra buckets to deposit those funds into. And so it's just, it's it's hard unless you have a dynamic product and a team on the field, you know, it's just hard to compete, you know, whereas, you know, whether, you know, even, you know, A&M, you know, it's far enough removed to where you're not competing with Houston proper, you know, Texas, you're not competing with anybody in Austin, you know, you had a, you know, MLS team. So that's, that's different. But when you're just here, you just, you got major league soccer, you know, men, you know, men's and women's, you've got baseball, you've got NFL, and then all of the colleges, not to mention, you know, the parents of, of high school football players, athletes, cheerleaders. So it's just, it's hard to, 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 say, hey, okay, we're going to go here on Friday night, we're going to go here on Saturday, and we're going to go here on Sunday. It's tough. You know, it's it's reality. It is difficult. This is a pro sports town. Majority of teams in the Big 12 are in lo they're college towns. The majority of teams in the SEC are college towns. When you look at the teams that are in pro towns, Houston, Miami, UCLA, USC, they all struggle with home attendance. So that is a definite factor. Add that that factor to the piss poor job, speaking about my alma mater specifically, marketing has done just nothing. <laughs> you know, outreach? For 30 years, outreach is pretty much non-existent. So those two factors equal poor attendance, to the home games, you know, Rice, AD, Rice alum, living alum in, in the city, what is it, 50,000? I mean, it's, it, it's not 100,000, you know, a living alum, Rice mm -hmm. alum, it's not. No, but let's, let's put TSU, it like... Well, yeah, Thrill Out, I want to do that too, but yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll say, I'll, I'll put a blank on everybody. TSU marketing, UH marketing, Rice marketing, <laughs> HCU marketing, all four have areas to improve and i love what kp said the outreach is just not it's not good enough and you know you are in a pro town so you need to do a better job of outreach to at least get the word out to your alums to recruits their families to let them know hey we got games this this coming weekend all those things you have to do more to just be a little slice of the pie so all four of those schools, they do the bare minimum. And then some of them have the, the nerve to say, I don't know why we don't get more fans. You don't do enough to, <laughs> to let folks know about you. You rely, you just use the, yes, it is reality. We all know that, that this is a pro town and just you're like, ah, oh, well, why bother? That's the wrong attitude. You need to do better. You need to do more. And yes, it's a fair weather town. You got to win. That's part of it. But for years, you have to give people a reason to care about your teams, about your programs first. Because if they care, because a lot of these schools, fans are indifferent. Fan, you know, TSU, Prairie View. Outside of the, of the Labor Day Classic, their alums don't care about anybody else on the schedule. You know, maybe TSU Grambling, you know, maybe, but uh, oh, okay. But like, like, what, like, what is, you know, coming up in, in a couple of weeks, like, what is Rice doing? Are they are they providing free shuttles, you know, for, for their students or for their fan base? 
to the game? Like, what are they doing to incentivize people to want to come? Nothing. Not, not that I know of. Yeah. Mm, not that I'm aware of. We, 